proud, languid lily of the sacred Nile, tis strange to see thee on our western wave, far from those sandy shores that mile on mile, papyrus bloomed, stretch silent as the grave or limpid pool, and wide, palm-sheltered bay, and round deep dreaming isles, thy leaves expand, where Alexandrian barges plough their way, full freighted, to the ancient Theban land on Karnak's lofty columns thou wert seen, and spacious Luxor's temple palace walls, each royal pharaoh's emeralded queen chose thee to deck her glittering banquet halls, yet thou art blossoming on this fairy lake as regally, amidst these common things, as on the shores where Nile's brown ripples break, as in the ivory halls of Egypt's kings thy grace meets every passer's curious eyes, but he whose thought has ranged through faiths of old gazing at thee feels lofty temples rise about him, sees long lines of priests, white-stoled, that chant strange music as they slowly pace dim columned aisles, hears trembling overhead echoes that lose themselves in that vast space, of Egypt's solemn ritual for the dead eh? deeper thoughts than these, though undefined, start in the reflective soul at sight of thee for this majestic orient faith enshrined man's yearning hope of immortality, and thou didst symbolize the deathless power that under all decaying forms lies hid, the old world worshipped thee, O lotus flower, then carved its sphinx and reared its pyramid, 